begin with news that we have expected for days after the latest scandal involving the New Mexico State men's basketball team. The school has terminated head coach Greg Heyer. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma and I'm Andy Morgan. Heyer spent just 11 months on the job at New Mexico State and it was 11 months mirrored in turmoil all coming to a head less than an hour ago. KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver joins us in the studio. Colin leads off our team coverage. Guys, when Greg Heyer was hired by New Mexico State on March 28, 2022, on the heels of Chris Jans leading the Aggies to an NCAA tournament win over UConn, they had already printed shirts that read, take us to higher ground. Instead, Heyer drove the program into the ground. He did it in less than 11 months. NMSU announcing Heyer's termination shortly after 5 p.m. today in a statement from Chancellor Dan Arvisu. The Chancellor said Athletic Director Mario Mocha informed Heyer of the decision to let him go. An NMSU official told KTSM that the school has scheduled a press conference for 10 a.m. tomorrow and that Mocha will be there and his job is safe. Now all of this happening two days after the rest of the season was canceled in the wake of serious hazing allegations that surfaced on Friday in which one NMSU player told police that three of his teammates allegedly sexually assaulted him in the locker room for over six months. No criminal charges in, have been filed in that case as of now. The university said any further decisions regarding the rest of the coaching staff would be made after additional investigations are concluded. Chancellor Avisu releasing a statement announcing higher as saying quote hazing has no place on our campus and those found responsible will be held accountable for their actions. I am committed to the safety and well being of all members of our campus community as well as to the integrity of our university. Our visa went on to say quote we will work to ensure that we fully understand what happened here and that those found responsible are held accountable. We will also ensure that support systems are in place to prevent this from happening again. End quote. And of course, Hire getting fired after the latest turmoil involving the NMSU basketball program since he took over in March of 2022. We can't forget about the deadly revenge shooting back in November involving Aggies forward Mike Peak and four UNM students, in which police say Peak acted in self defense or the fight at a UNM NMSU football game in October featuring Peak and another Aggies player that was the alleged precursor to the shooting. That and more has occurred since Hire took over last March. And we have team coverage for you tonight. Sports reporter Sam Guzman live in Las Cruces where the news broke an hour ago. Sam, the Board of Regents are meeting as we speak. What else might they be meeting about right now? Yes, Colin. Well, the Board of Region, uh, Regents meeting is still going on uh, and they're discussing a myriad of personnel issues that are outside the basketball program, but it is fair to say that they are still discussing uh, personnel issues uh, when it comes to the rest of the coaching staff on the New Mexico State men's basketball team. Of course, the biggest news to come out of today is that NMSU has terminated head coach Greg Hire's contract and will no longer be serving as the head coach of the Aggies program. Now, our Arvizu said in a statement that they are doing an expansive review and full investigation and any further decisions regarding the remainder of the coaching staff, as we mentioned, will be made after the investigation is concluded. Of course, this is just a, one big move for New Mexico State. Uh, we've already seen the side effects of this uh, situation already poured down into the uh, future of the Aggies program. The firing of Greg Heyer uh, still, uh, you know, uh, uh, still seeing, looking to see what will happen. But uh, earlier today, one of New Mexico State's biggest uh, prospects or signees actually announced on Twitter that he would be uh, leaving the program, reopening his recruitment, and uh, just evaluating what, evaluating what other options are on the table for him. His name is uh, Lowell Darius Carr, the second highest rated recruit New Mexico State has gotten in program history. We got the chance to speak with him uh, earlier today today and uh, here he is on his decision prior to the firing of Greg hiring on why he decided to leave uh, or decommit from NMSU for now. Uh, I just want to say like it's just it's just a crazy situation like like and coming from my end like I don't know what's next I don't know what's going to happen next like I find out information day by day and it's like to a point where what's next like I don't want to have to get there and then be like, oh, this and this happened and now I can't play or some other stuff. So like me and my family just decided to, to reopen my recruitment to see other options, but I'm still interested in New Mexico State though. So again, you heard Carr there say he's still interested in New Mexico State. Carr again is the second highest uh, rated uh, recruit uh, New Mexico State has gotten in program history. Uh, right now he's evaluating 
his options, as you heard. Um, Carr did say to me that, you know, he did want to come to NMSU because it is a great mid-major program. And when you think about it, just not too long ago, March of last year, this team uh, making national headlines. They beat number five UConn. It was a 12 seed over five seed upset in uh, Buffalo. And the Aggies were essentially on top of the world and uh, under Chris Jans and just being one of the best mid-major programs in the country. And now after this tumultuous year, it finds itself seeing its season canceled and uh, uh, still a lot of questions uh, in the air regarding this program. So it, they went from high to high to the low of low here. And of course, today, again, the big news coming out is that uh, Greg Hire's ter uh, contract has been terminated. So this is a developing story. And of course, we'll make sure to keep you updated on air and online. As soon as we learn more information, we'll make sure to have more for you in sports. For now, reporting from the Pan American Center, Sam Guzman, KTSM 9 Sports. Thank you, Sam. Again, New Mexico State Brass will have a press conference to talk about this 10 a.m. tomorrow. We'll bring it for you on our website. Hire, when he was hired, was asked about his candidacy. There were questions based on who he had worked for previously. Unfortunately for New Mexico State, those questions were answered quickly and not how they wanted them to. The Aggies have many other important questions now to answer before conducting another coaching search. But Andy and Natasia, they will have to be very careful with their next hire. It has to be someone that can quickly clean up the culture. We'll be back with more in sports.